Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Mariste. Sean Diddy Combs files motion to dismiss revenge porn, human trafficking, clams, and sexual assault suit. Guys, let me tell you something. If Sean Combs Diddy, whatever hell his name is, get out of this without any prison term, we have a problem in the justice system. It seems like money talks bullshit work and for this man to pay Cassie in 48 hours to shut her down we have so many victims allegedly came out and say this man did this to me there was proof there was evidence and this man think that he's going to walk away free dancing drinking by the side of the pool thinking he's good taking pictures going on vacation look let's hope this man doing all this for the camera and at the end they're gonna end it up putting behind bar for what he's done to so many people allegedly sean diddy comes legal team filed a motion friday to dismiss a number of claims Wage against the musical mogul from a SA assault lawsuit established in November. And the filing did his lawyers argued numerous false offense and salacious accusations were brought against Combs and his companies in a lawsuit filed by Joe Dickinson Deal Neil on the statutes that did not exist at the time the alleged misconduct occurred in against corporate entities that were not formed or in existence i know he has the best lawyer and i know he spent uh, a lot of money to get himself out of trouble but what happened to the law what happened to rules and regulation what happened to when you do something wrong you're supposed to pay for it by being in jail like many other people have been through. This man, we don't know why he's such in a good vibes doing his thing regardless of the accusation that goes against them. He's still partying, he's still having fun. Some people will be, you know, in a down low, keeping it smooth, not trying to be in the social media, not trying to be in the spotlight. Oh, not him. He's in Miami Beach, riding his bicycle, his friends. He's taking picture with people. He's in restaurant with, like, he's doing his thing as if, don't worry. I'm going to walk out of this. Just like, allegedly, he shot this woman in the face. The woman recognized it was him. Somebody else, the fool, take the plea deal, go to jail for him. It's like this man been through a lot of problems in the past, but his money make him walk around free without paying for the consequences. And it's not fair. Dickinson Neal alleged that the influential rapper D, yeah, fill in the blank, D-R-U, S-A-N abused her while she was attending Syracuse University in 1991, according to the lawsuit obtained by Fox News Digital. Dickinson Neal Clam comes into intentionally d her while on a date recorded the essay assault and distributed the tape making her a victim of revenge porn Ay, yeah, yeah. his legal team argued that new york state revenge porn law became effective in december 2017 and therefore couldn't be retroactively applied to a lawsuit Steaming from an incident that allegedly happened in 1991. Okay. You see, his legal team did not deny that he did it or not. They trying to say, you know what? It happened so long ago. This lawsuit have no correspondent with the time that they have this law in effect. So at the end of the day, he has good lawyers. They're going to walk into the case to see if they can remove some stuff. But they did not deny he did it or not, y'all. Huh. We are confident Miss Dickinson Neal's allegation against Calm are strong, credible, and legally viable. Representatives for Dickinson Neal said in a statement provided 
to Fox News Digital. The third cause of action in Dickinson Neal suits alleged a claim under the New York Services for Victims of Human Trafficking Law, VHDL. His lawyers argued that the VHDL became effective on November 1st, 2007, which was approximately 16 years after the alleged SA happened. Dickinson Neal's claim was filed against Combs, his Bad Boys Entertainment Group, Bad Boys Records, and Combs Enterprise LLC. His lawyers provided evidence from the New York Department of State Divisions of Corporation showing Combs established Bad Boys Entertainment Holding in 1992, one year after the alleged incident happened. A similar form was provided for Combs Enterprise LLC, which listed the initial filing date for the entity as November 17, 2004. DD's team also invoked a recent ruling in another New York case where Steven Tyler was accused of essay a teenage girl in 1975. Listen, guys, his lawyers can do whatever they want to try to get him out of prison term or pay for what he's done to so many people allegedly. If this man walk away free without serving any jail time, I'm telling you, some victims going to be afraid of coming out of saying what was done to them because it's a joke. Not only publicly, they've been ashamed for telling people what happened to them and at the end the person who did that to them did not get to serve any time in jail because they have money fame and recognition because they know some upper people that also have money they ended up walking around free and spend no time behind bar i hope if this man really did this alleged crazy stuff to those people he spent some time behind bar this is america if there is proof there is evidence and there was so many people coming out and the way he paid cassie ventura in 48 hours something happened man something happened and he needs to pay for that subscribe thank you bye